What's going down everyone? For the AMD family, they got the FSR, our Fidelity update. And this is probably one of the most convoluted things that AMD did a bad job with marketing, but a great job with software development. So this is like a team throwing a football downfield and the game developer catching it because the software engineer that made their GPU run a little bit faster and efficient. I'm going to showcase exactly how you use it, how Nvidia is involved and you can use it, how you can use it on your AMD cards that are existing inside of your computer rigs and get the FPS that you want. It's really not that confusing and it's only game title specific. We're only going to see something groundbreaking where we can compare DLSSS to the situation of the FSR in a comparison into like Far Cry 6 give or take. If you've seen Red Gaming Tech, he showcased that probably a few days ago, saying that this is probably gonna be our true equilibrium of CU in gameplay. But for right now, let's go ahead and jump over, see a benchmark, because I know a lot of people were like, hey, the synthetic of 3D Mark, yes, I get it, because this is a specific thing for gaming titles to enable it. I did purchase something as a gaming expense for my channel to give to the gamers to show them exactly what they wanted. So you spoke up, and this is what you get. Now, in this rig at this very moment, there's literally not even like the AMD software that I have that's updated. If I popped my Radeon 7 card directly in here, it would give me access to having the situation of updating. But this is on the old school 20.11.2. But when we pull out of this, you can kind of see that there's going to be a benchmark mode that we can run. And I'll have to pause it for the situation. We'll get a nice like, average in the very end to kind of see it because I'm utilizing a 1060 Extreme NVIDIA card on this one. So unfortunately, it doesn't have a lot of virtual RAM to run what you'd have with this gaming title from Gearbox that is supported. So go to your settings and in your settings, you're going to go directly over to your video or display. And then there it is. Literally, it is there. Nothing has been updated. In the situation that is just the game developer that has updated. And same thing if you look at PlayStation or Xbox with the next generation gaming consoles. These are the questions that we're going to start asking ourselves as we start to see the development of this software be utilized as a free source thing, kind of like what Elon did with Tesla for the electric engine when he remapped it, redid it, and then just gave out the patents for free and said, you know, just use it rather than trying to go through this and all this logistic bureaucratic bull crap. You just cut the middleman and go directly to the source. So that's what AMD has done here. They've literally showcased their technology in a fine wine and cracked it open for certain titles provided just like dlss had in the past that the game developers and the consoles that are using amd technologies which hint hint it's pretty much everything almost nowadays is going to get a leg up and if this gets favored just like anything for like where intel and amds had with like motherboards you'll start to see that certain things will start to get more development as more teams shift over their resources and development in order to utilize this so back to the settings for fidelity or fsr now again you're going to have tons of settings the ultra quality the quality the balance the performance and off on top of that the fidelity cache you can turn it off and on which is more than likely what you're going to have for its clearing and catching for as far as the data point. Now, those are two different fields for right now. We're just literally going to test the off and on with the high quality to see the difference for as far as how fast we can get this 1060 in a brief test. Now, as we can peek in right here, you can see it's very low quality at the 2K that it's trying to produce. You can see that there's frame tears and this is completely off, no cache, normal card with me streaming on top of it, with it running two different displays at the same time at 4K. So this card is going extreme and hardcore. It's, it's not even a joke. This is probably the most work it's done in a decade. And for the 1060, that's a pretty good statement to say. So let's go ahead and see how this NVIDIA GPU matches up on an AMD influence software. 
in the very end. And I'm going to turn it off and it will gain some situational points as we I stop the recording here with FPS. And there you have it. We finish a little bit above as I interrupted the test with the recording and we can kind of see what happens with everything off. So 9.4. When I tested it prior to that, it was a 24.2 native without having the recording interference and the OBS software open. Jesus Christ, the, oh my God. This software is absolutely beautiful. With max settings finally now ended, 10.07. I mean, that's that's pretty good, as we saw the 9 and the 8 being the median in the last one for it being off, for us being meddling with it, and now with doing the same thing, we saw a slight increase in the very beginning, but a huge increase when I was watching it in gameplay, and the FPS was rising, so if the OBS software was not engaging in the virtual RAM of the GPU, it would have full throttle in order to utilize the AMD software that Gearbox has enabled through their software, as you are enabled to enable through 7 titles today and 12 titles in the future, Resident Evil Village being one of mine on the radar to see exactly how much they can improve since it is an AMD favored and Far Cry 6 in the far future in order for us to see a DLSS face off against FSR. Now with everything, as you can kind of see, it loads out. We have our first two settings. We're going to go to the performance and see how well that skates up. With it loading back in, we're going to go ahead and take a peek and see how well it takes off in the very beginning. And holy crap. That's really good for the comparison of what we saw yesterday to today. Now you can kind of see where it's starting to glitch out a little bit. And it's kind of like hitting a roadblock as it comes into some like gameplay issues like i would definitely say that this choppiness versus the quality and well that fps is lost but let me go ahead and pause it here and see if it can really utilize that virtual ram after we've kind of like bogged it down a little bit at this point in time i'd really like to think that this is a conclusive test to how to properly utilize fsr from amd my name is Mac, here at the MacGyver 7 channel. If you've gone this far, now you should have thoroughly accessed how to utilize your FPS. We noticed that literally 100% gain in the end for utilizing performance under load, but it did show some stress tests versus quality that held the load, but was not able to basically produce as 
fast as a response. So you will get those balances and make sure you're checking your tabs in the background to see if something is utilizing the virtual RAM and your resources and that GPU that's going to be bogging it down. So if you are new to the network, you can always like, share and subscribe. There's a few tutorials up above if you're looking for some more tech related information from my creation station and the MacGyver 7 channel. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And if AMD wants to send me like, you know, I don't know, like a 6000 series card to like follow up on like, you know, testing this out, that'd be really cool. And you can always subscribe to find out if they do, I'd make a follow up special just for that. But anyways, everyone, as we exit this 10 minute long video, now explaining the elaborate points of just FSR, not the patch notes, not the update, just FSR. Cause I know a lot of people were like, man, what the hell? It's like, there's a two different aspects. We're gaming a synthetic test versus update to update versus a new setting and a gaming enabled portion that now everyone has access to from Nvidia to AMD to lower graphics cards to APUs. Everyone is included this time around for technology through AMD 100 strong now stand today with seven titles to utilize for FPS games. So later everyone, this is a nice conclusive test to show how damn well this software works and where it can go in the future.